Hi, boys and girls. It's story time. Today, we are reading Hermie by Max Lucado. Hermie was a common caterpillar. Now, as a rule, caterpillars aren't very exciting. But Hermie was even more ordinary than most. He didn't have stripes and he didn't have spots. He had nothing but green skin and a bunch of feet. He ate common leaves, squirmed through common grass, did common stuff. But Hermie did one thing that wasn't common. He talked to God. Hermie and his friend Wormy would ask God, Why did you make us so common? Other caterpillars have stripes. Some have spots. God would answer, I love you, Hermie and Wormy, but I'm not finished with you yet. I'm giving you a heart like mine. So they felt better until they met an ant carrying a big pine cone. The ant was smaller than either of them, but on his shoulder was a big pine cone. They were amazed at the strength of the ant. Wow, Wormy said, how do you carry such a heavy load? God made me strong, replied the ant. Hermie and Wormy felt sad. They asked God, why can't we be strong like the ant? God's answer was kind. I love you just the way that you are, but I'm not finished with you yet. So they felt better until one rainy day when they saw a snail. Greetings, said the snail. Looks like you're trying to get out of the rain. We surely are, Hermie answered. We're getting soaked. You need a house like I have, said the snail. That's your house? Wormy asked. It sure is. Watch. And with that, the snail pulled his head right into his shell. See, it's nice and dry in here. Hermie and Wormy wondered why God hadn't given them a cozy house like the snails. God reminded them, be patient, Hermie and Wormy. I'm not finished with you yet. That made Hermie and Wormy feel much better until they saw the ladybug. You have such pretty spots, Hermie exclaimed. Beautiful, Wormy agreed. You are very kind, she replied shyly, but I had nothing to do with it. This is the way God made me. Hermie and Wormy wanted to be grateful for the gift God had given the ladybug, but it was so hard. Both of them felt so common. That night, Hermie prayed, We're sorry, God. We know you love us, but we don't understand why you made us so. Common? God finished the sentence. Yes, common, both caterpillars said at the same time. Remember, God told them, I love you just the way that you are, but I'm not finished with you yet. I'm giving you a heart like mine. Hermie turned to Wormy and yawned. I'm feeling very sleepy. I feel like I need a, to sleep a long, long time. Then let's make you a soft, comfy, comfy bed, Wormy suggested. There, Wormy said to his friend, have a good long rest. I'll be waiting for you when you wake up. Hermy thanked his friend. Then he prayed to God and said, you know, God, it's okay that I'm just a common caterpillar. You love me, and that makes me special. Hermie snuggled into his bed, closed his eyes, and drifted off to sleep. As he slept, he dreamt of that he was different. He had strength like the ant, he had a house like the snail, and he had spots like the ladybug. He dreamed that he was no longer a common caterpillar, but that he had something special. When Hermie woke up, it was dark. He was covered from head to toe. What had happened to his bed? As he squirmed to get out, he and his bed began to fall down, down, until suddenly his bed cracked open. Then something wonderful happened. He felt a tickle on his back. Wings fluttered open, wings he didn't even know he had. They were glorious, wide, brightly colored wings with beautiful spots, and they were his. With hardly any effort, Hermie began to fly up and up 
higher and higher, he soared over the trees. As Hermie flapped his new wings, he began to understand what God had been telling him. He wasn't like the ant or the snail or the ladybug. He was Hermie, a beautiful butterfly with a beautiful heart. God had made Hermie special inside and out. Hermie had to tell Wormy the good news. Wormy came a voice from high in the sky. Hermie, where are you? Wormy asked. I am up here. Wormy looked up. Hermie, is that really you? Yes, it's really me. Wow, said the ant. You look so different. Goodness, gasped the snail. You are so big. Gracious, admired the ladybug. You are the most beautiful butterfly I've ever seen. God was not finished with me after all, Hermie announced. Then he flew down and stopped right next to Wormy. He gave a big butterfly grin and whispered, Wormy, guess what? God is not finished with you either. Wormy's smile grew bigger and bigger. Now he understood too. You know, you may be right. I'm starting to feel pretty sleepy, too. Wormy yawned a great big yawn. The end. Take care, boys and girls, and be safe. Until next time.